hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how to um, design a t-junction diplexer um, by first of all designing two separate filters so if you look at this uh, diagram here you can see that i have a transmit filter tx receive filter rox and then I've linked the two filters with um, a three-port matching network. Now, uh, for today, I'll be using T-junction for the three-port matching network. But you may also be aware that you can use a circulator, a Y-junction, and of course, different connecting devices. It could be a common resonator to achieve this same result. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you how I went about achieving this diagram. Here you can see a clear diplexer, um, diplexer uh, with a return loss of 20 dB. So we're going to I'm going to show you how we achieve this result in ADS. I'm going to be using the ADS, the Advanced Design Software, for this simulation. But of course, you can use any other uh, uh, design software of your choice. So let's get started. So I'm going to launch my ADS. That's the first thing I do. Um, in the ADS, you should have known how to design a uh, band pass filter for you to do this experiment. If you haven't uh, designed a filter before, check my YouTube channel. I have wonderful videos on how to design a uh, band pass filter. So you can think of how to design a filter. Check for my video entitled Basics of ADS. So there you can learn how to design uh, filter um, uh, using this uh, ADS schematic. So the first thing I did here is I designed uh, a filter uh, at the center frequency of 2.6 GHz. So I'm going to simulate this filter. If I run the simulation, you'll see here that I have a three-pole bandpass filter with a center frequency at uh, 2.6 GHz a return loss at 20 dB. So this is my first filter at 2.6. I'm going to close this one. Again, I designed a second filter here. You can see a second filter. If I simulate this one, you see that I have another filter with center frequency at um, 3 gigahertz. Okay, return loss is also at is still at 20 uh, dB. So I'm going to now um, uh, use these two filters, one at 2.6 and one at 3.0 to form a diplexer. So I'm going to close this window again, close that one. So, and of course, I'm going to also close this window. Now, I'm, I want to combine the two filters to, with uh, a, a Y junction to form a diplexer. So what I do is, I'm going to start from one filter and then copy and paste the other. So what I'm going to do is um, um, open the 3.0 GHz filter. I'm just going to copy this design. I'll copy the design. I'm just going to copy. Okay. And then Control C to copy. I can close this window now. Now I will um, I will go to to the other filter 2.6 now I want to paste so I have um, the two design in one location so I'm going to paste control V if I paste this other design here now I have my two filters here so I have my, my, the 2.6 and the 2.3 for the 3.0 gigahertz filter together. So all I need to do now is to connect them. So here, so I need to, so if you look at this, I have four ports. But the diplexer is a three port device, so I need to delete one of the ports. So I have, uh, I can, I can um, delete, I can delete uh, one of these ports. So I'm going to delete, move this port, all right? So I only need one of it. So I'm going to uh, keep um, keep port one. I'll delete this one. Now I'm going to change this port here to port three. So uh, instead of four, I'm going to change it to port three. And I change this one uh, to three as well. So I have now port one, two, three. Just similar to uh, to to what I have here. So I have 
plus one, two, three. So I'm just trying to stick to what I have. So if that is true, all I need to do now is to connect this port, this first port, link both, uh, plus one and port two. Uh, so what I need to do, uh, sorry, port two and port three. So I use what I call uh, the transmission line. So I'm just going to, I'm just go, go, go here and search for uh, transmission lines. So I'm going to type CLIN. So you see, I have a transmission uh, transmission line. I need three of it. That's that's one. That's one over there. That's two. And there's a third one here. Escape. Okay. So now. So now all I need to do is to uh, uh, connect these transmission lines. Um, I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to connect this wire, the first one to the first filter there, second line to the second filter. Now I need to connect, because I'm trying to form a T junction, right? So I'm forming a T junction. So I connect this line to this point. Okay. And then I connect that forms a T junction. So you can see now I have a T junction. Now I need to connect at uh, this input. So this now becomes my general input. So I connect that input to that point. So now I have a perfect T junction. Um, yeah, so I have a T junction. Now I'm not sure what this is going to look like, but I'm going to simulate. To, uh, to have an idea of what it should look like. Now, um, so this is what I have. Now I have Diplexa uh, with input port 1, output port 2 and 3. Now, so I'm not sure what this will look like, but we're going to simulate first. And then we're going to tune um, um, the TL transmission line 1, transmission line 2 to achieve our result. But first of all, I just simulate to see what we have. I'm going to simulate now. Okay, so you can see now that it doesn't look uh, like anything I, I expected. But at least I can see that I have um, the first, the transmit band, the receive band, and of course the, uh, the insertion loss is also there, which is the 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 two one but let's see how we can sort this out so i'm just going to uh, uh minimize this window so the next thing i need to do is to tune i'm going to start tuning tl1 and tl2 until i achieve uh, um, what something that looks like this design you see here okay so how do i go about that so if you look at here there's something we call tuning ads this is the uh the tuning in ads so I'm going to use this tuning uh, window to achieve my results. I'm going to click on this. So, so I have, I have uh, my tuner there. Um, so I'm going to select what I need to tune. So I want to tune um, uh, E1. So I'm going to select E1. I'm also going to select um, E2. So that this is, these are the electrical lengths, okay? One and two. So I need to tune this. Uh, parameters to achieve what I'm looking for. Now, for me to be able to do that, it's also good to have the result in view. So I'm just going to have this result in view. So I will see and uh, monitor the changes while I tune. So that is, I'm just going to have it in view. Okay, that's good. Now that should be good enough. So I'll, I'll place this um, just where I can see it properly. So I, yeah, okay, should be fine here. Then I'll place the tuner there. Just make sure you have every everything in view so you can see what happens when you tune. So now I'm going to start tuning these two parameters until I achieve my diplexer. Uh, so what I need to do here, first of all, the step is nine. I can make this step maybe zero point uh, zero point I can say 0 0.2 so I can have better uh, fine, refined tuning 0 0.2 uh, I will start by tuning so you can see this is TL1 this is TL2 the electrical length of first transmission line 
the electrical length of the second transmission line. So if I start tuning, so I'm going to start from, let me say I start tuning um, um, TL1. So this is TL1. So you can use it up arrow or the down arrow to tune. So you see, so while I tune, it's notice that uh, this, uh, there are changes happening in the on the um, the first trans on the transmit band because that's what I'm tuning here. So I'm going to go down. You can drag this bar. So to, you can drag the bar. You can use this arrow to tune. So I'm just going to uh, tune. I'm going to drag it to maybe somewhere. Just leave it there for a while. I'm going to try this one as well. You just keep dragging the bar or pulling the arrows until you achieve what you what you want to achieve. So you can see here that uh, I'm still not getting what I want. Just just keep keep trying, uh, keep tuning. Um, so okay, you see now that my first my transmit band is looking good now. Transmit band is looking really good. So just gonna, just just keep tuning both until you are happy with. Um, with the result that you have you can stop okay okay now you can see i'm having two bands now so i'm going to keep going that's looking good looking good now okay maybe i stop at me stop at a bit of okay looks really good I'll try this other band just, just keep tuning and keep uh, keep an eye on it until you have something that looks similar to uh, what you want so now uh, okay right i have the two bands just that um you can see here that my uh s21 isn't yet what i want so i'm just going to maybe if i just try to tune this a bit more uh right so Okay, now, so looking at this device, I can see now that my uh, my tuning is, I mean, I can have, I see that both bands are exactly where I want them to be. So, uh, what I need to do is, I think it looks okay now. Probably I need to plot uh, uh, my S31. So if I uh, plot S31, probably I should have done that at the beginning. Uh, for the second filter, uh, for the second, if I plot my S21 because now I can see that I've tuned it correctly, but I have only I didn't plot S31. So if I go and plot my S31, S31, okay. Now you see, now I have exactly what I'm looking for. So you can see now that I have um, my diplexer looking exactly like what I want. So all you need to do now is to um you need to update schematic if i click on update schematic then the information will be saved so i can now close this window you want to exit tuning yes i can close this window now i can also i uh, can save and maybe close this window as well now i can save my design so this design is now what i want so if i close this design if i decide to simulate again for now Retain that design. So you see now I have diplexer. So simple. So you can see that I have I have used a T junction to achieve a diplexer. And don't forget you can also do this using a Y junction, a circulator, or any method that you think will give you a result that you desire. Thank you for listening, and I hope you've learned something on this video. Please check out my uh, YouTube channel for different videos on how to solve your microwave engineering problems i'll see you in uh, uh, i hope you come back to the channel to see uh, what i have for you in the nearest future thank you for listening and i will advise you to subscribe to this channel if you want to be getting information like this thank you and god bless